we already said that femoral artery continues into popliteal. It goes to popliteal fossa through hiatus adductorius. And popliteal artery subdivides into two terminal branches, arteria tibialis posterior and arteria tibialis anterior. Popliteal artery gives arteria genus superior lateralis and medialis, arteria genus inferior medialis and lateralis, and arteria genus media. Arteria genus media not participate in network. It perforate capsule of knee joint and goes inside of knee joint and supplies the ligamentum cruzatum, anterior and posterior, inside of knee joint. All in other arteries participate in network, reta articularis genus. And this network forms the same with the help of arteria genus, what? Descendants from femoral artery and arteria recurrence tibialis posterior and arteria recurrence tibialis anterior. Both of them starts from arteria tibialis anterior. They, that is reta articularis genus. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven arteries participate in reta articularis genus. Now, uh, arteria tibialis posterior. Arteria tibialis posterior in upper third of, of the leg gives a largest branch, that is arteria peronea or arteria fibularis. Arteria peronea, it goes into the canal, the same like uh, arteria tibialis posterior, it also goes into the canal. This canal. Canalis cruropopliteus between musculus soleus and musculus tibialis posterior, and arteria peronea goes into canalis muscula peroneus inferior. This canal between musculus tibialis posterior, musculus flexor hallucis longus, and fibula. Arteria peronea, arteria peronea. It supplies musculus peroneus longus and brevis, supplies muscles, and gives um, ramus malialaris posterior lateralis. Goes to the network in lateral ankle. Reta, it goes to reta malialaris lateralis. And it gives rami calcanei uh, to calcaneus network, reta calcanei. They are terminal branches of arteria peronea. Arteria tibialis posterior, arteria tibialis posterior, it gives arteria malialaris uh, medialis, arteria malialaris medialis goes to malleolus medialis, and after that, arteria tibialis posterior in plantar surface of the foot subdivides into arteria plantaris medialis and arteria plantaris lateralis. Arteria plantaris lateralis goes to the mm, <coughs> fifth metatarsal bone, goes medially, goes medially, and makes two types of anastomosis. One anastomosis together with arteria plantaris medialis and another anastomosis from dorsal surface <coughs> it's joined with arteria plantaris profundus from dorsal surface of the foot and we receive arcus plantaris and this arcus plantaris gives arteria metatarsa plantaris Arteria metatarsa plantaris gives rami perforantes, rami perforantes goes to dorsal surface of the foot, 
From this place, they continues into Arteria Digitalis Plantaris Communis, and Arteria Digitalis Plantaris Communis subdivides into Arteria Digitalis Plantaris Propria. That is why, one again, from Arcus Plantaris, we have Arteria Metatarsa Plantaris, they gives arteria perforantes, continues into common plantar digital arteries, arteria digitalis plantaris communis, and they subdivides into proper plantar digital arteries, arteria digitalis plantaris propria. And this arc between arteria plantaris lateralis and arteria plantaris medialis and between arteria plantaris lateralis and ramus planta arteria plantaris profundus deep plantar artery which start from dorsal surface from arteria dorsalis pedis. Now, arteria tibialis anterior. Arteria tibialis anterior we already said it passes through opening in membrana interossa cruris. Before this opening, it gives arteria recurrens tibialis posterior and on anterior surface, arteria recurrens tibialis anterior. After that, anterior tibial artery goes downward, gives arteria malleolaris anterioris medialis, and lateralis goes to uh, reta malleolaris medialis and reta malleolaris lateralis and then continues to dorsal surface of the foot and it is it has name arteria dorsalis pedis arteria dorsalis pedis gives arteria tarsa medialis arteria tarsa lateralis then arteria arcuata and arteria arcuata makes anastomosis with arteria tarsa lateralis and from arteria arcuata we have arteria metatarsa dorsalis arteria metatarsa dorsalis and first metatarsal dorsal artery that is branch of arteria dorsalis pedis. It is first metatarsal dorsal artery. And arteria dorsalis pedis gives arteria profunda plantaris, which goes to plantar surface of, of the foot. And arteria metatarsa dorsalis subdivides into arteria digitalis dorsalis in dorsal surface. Clear? And arteria perforantes, they make anastomosis with dorsal metatarsal arteries. Arteria perforantes makes anastomosis between plantar metatarsal and dorsal metatarsal arteries. Here it is, that is all. Diagram not necessary to draw, only for your understanding. And now let's go to the museum and we try to see it. That is profunda femoris. Here it is circumflex. Circumflexor femoris medialis and lateralis. Ascendance and descendance branch. And here it is arteria genus descendants. Arteria genus descendants. And femoral artery continues into popliteal, this blue color, that is popliteal artery. And popliteal artery gives arteria genus superior lateralis and medialis. The same inferior arteries, arteria genus inferior medialis and lateralis. This one, arteria genus media goes to knee joint and supplies 
uh, cruciform ligaments and and popliteal artery subdivides into arteria tibialis posterior and arteria tibialis anterior and anterior artery gives arteria recurrens tibialis posterior and should be arteria recurrens tibialis anterior next we will see on anterior surface from posterior tibial artery we can see arteria peronea or arteria fibularis arteria fibularis and arteria fibularis gives branch to rete malleolaris lateralis that is arteria malleolaris lateralis arteria malleolaris lateralis from arteria peronea and this branch rami calcanei goes to calcanus network then what what about arteria tibialis posterior posterior tibial artery arteria tibialis posterior it's around malleolus medialis and goes to plantar surface of the foot and here subdivides into arteria plantaris uh, lateralis and arteria plantaris medialis arteria plantaris lateralis goes uh, goes medially and forms plantar arc arcus plantaris arcus plantaris together with arteria plantaris medialis and together with um, dorsal branch arteria uh, plantaris profundus deep plantar artery from arteria dorsalis pedis and and from plantar arc we can see plantar metatarsal arteries arteria metatarsa plantaris they gives arteria perforantus heat is they are absent and from this place continues into common plantar digital arteries and common arteries subdivides into proper arteria digitalis palmaris propria they are on plantar surface of the foot and now dorsal surface dorsal surface First of all, it is arteria tibialis anterior and it gives arteria recurrens tibialis anterior, which goes to the network, reta articularis genus. Then, arteria tibialis anterior, arteria tibialis anterior gives two branches to networks, arteria malleolaris anterioris medialis here and lateralis and lateralis and from this place arteria tibialis anterior continues into arteria dorsalis pedis and arteria dorsalis pedis gives arteria tarsa medialis then it is arteria tarsa lateralis arteria arcuata and arteria arcuata gives arteria metatarsa dorsalis dorsal metatarsal arteries which continues into arteria digitalis dorsalis and first metatarsal dorsal artery arteria metatarsa dorsalis prima it starts from arteria dorsalis pedis the same like arteria plantaris profundus and arteria plantaris profundus together with lateral plantar uh, artery makes plantar arc that is all
the questions. Well, 